Now, the list goes on and on. Retailers hitting hard times. Last week, it was Toys R Us, electronics retailer Maplin, Byron, Carluccio's, Jamie's Italian, Prezzo. This week, fashion chain New Look, House of Fraser's, Claire's Accessories. Not all have gone under. Some are restructuring their finances, some are cutting staff, some are retrenching generally. But even though the news would suggest something close to really a high street recession, the last report on retail sales from the Office of National Statistics said the underlying pattern in retail sales is one of slow growth. Joining us now to make sense of all this is Natalie Burke, who's the founder of NBK Retail. From the overall figures, it doesn't look too bad. You wouldn't imagine there was a crisis in retail, but if you look at the number of companies that are being hit, it looks awful. What's going on? That's right. I think the retail sector is facing unprecedented changes. Uh, not only are retailers having to adapt to huge structural shifts as more and more people buy online instead of in store, um, but also we have this very dangerous combination of rising costs and subdued demand. And that's putting considerable pressure on retailers. And as we saw last week, it's exposing those with underlying issues like Toys R Us, like Maplin. Is it, is it not to do with shifts in shopping habits? Is it because we're all shopping online now or is that not yet a big enough factor? It's certainly a factor, particularly in categories like electronics and toys, as evidenced by the collapse of uh, those retailers just mentioned. Um, but it's, it's a little bit more complicated than just online growing and, uh, you know, retail apocalypse for the high street. I think in the future, um, high street stores, particularly department stores, will really have to reinvent themselves and create much more of an experience uh, for shoppers. So we're seeing lots of innovation. Um, Debenhams is trialing gyms in some of their stores. Uh, John Lewis is... Uh, providing theatrical training for some of its staff. So it really will be about uh, service and the experience in the future. Theatrical training sounds like rather fun. I'm not sure, <laughs> sure whether we're all going to welcome that. But what about in terms of their costs? What are the big costs which are, which, which are making it so hard for them? Is it the rents? Uh, is it the, the property or is it uh, wages? Oh, it, it's a little bit of everything. I think that it's really a perfect storm. And of course, we can't forget inflation. Um, you know, it's, since the um, EU referendum, the pound has been weak. And that's particularly been a challenge, um, well, it's for all retailers, but particularly for the grocers, as we saw in the Waitrose numbers yesterday, because around half of the food that we consume here in the UK is imported, um, and even higher in categories like fruit and vegetables. So it's costing the retailers more to get products on the shelves, and they have to make that very very difficult decision whether to pass that cost on to the customer or have it impact the bottom line. Okay, Natalie, thanks very much indeed. Natalie Berg, the founder of NBK Retail.